Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Talcott Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Railgun and Euthermal on Proxima Station, the latter edition. In the bottom left side of the map, we have the Red Zerg player. It is Railgun from Railgun Gaming, featured by a Mutalisk in the spinning logo. And in the top right side of the map, we have the Blue Terran player Euthermal from Thermi. Alright, so an EUGM ladder game between Railgun, who showed up a lot on my channel, and Euthermal, who has also shown up a lot on my channel. Cannot wait for this matchup. ZVT, everybody's favorite matchup. Okay, that is not entirely true. Most people's favorite matchup? I would assume ZVP is personally my favorite matchup, but ZVT's got a lot of views on my channel over the last couple of years. Barracks first out of Euthermal. Gas already done. Barracks a little delayed. Little delayed. I wonder if he's not going to open up Reaver just because of that. And let's see. Oh, pool first out of Railgun into an expansion. There we go. Again, he is worried about that three racks Reaper stuff. I don't think he has to worry about it here, though. Again, just based on the timing we saw from you, Thermal. He could be saving up to go for something like a reactor off this barracks right away and then start double pumping Reapers, which we've seen. Which we've seen in the past. But, uh, I don't know. I do not know what we're doing here today. So, yes. Uh, ZVT. And it is gonna, it's gonna be a Reaper. Okay, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me sometimes. Uh, this guy's name is Reapy Gonzalez, the brother of Speedy Gonzalez. But instead of super speed which is what Speedy Gonzalez is actually known for. He is super efficient at killing workers, getting 30 drone kills at 20 minutes in. Oh, 20 minutes in. I mean, 30, okay, this dude has, uh, has some high expectations placed upon him by <laughs> the Reaper namer there. So here we go. Reaper heading out across the map. We got queens on the way from Railgun, just about ready to pop. That pool first lets you get, lets you get those queens out fast and lings out too, if that's what you're into. And I just don't know that Reaper Gonzalez is going to really have a whole lot of time uh, to do much of anything. But he's going as fast as he can, as fast as his little jetpacks will uh, take him. Zoom, zoom, holding his guns in his hands. And he's got grenades back there as well. And here we go. Ooh, free drone possibly. And nope, there's a queen. There's a queen here at the natural base. Queens are pulled away very nicely by a railgun. Do not want to lose anything here. It's a little bit of a ring around the rosy play there, but instead... Speedy uh, Reapy Gonzalez. Oh, walked right past a drone, taking some shots to the face, getting a little bit too close to the queen, and then hopping into the main base. Well, there's also a queen. KD8 charge blows everybody back, though. Can Reapy Gonzalez get a drone kill? Well, no, but he's not dead yet, which is pretty fantastic. Ling's here at the front from Railgun, trying to knock down this barracks. No, Marines pop out and chew them away. Healing up with his, uh, uh, I was going to say KD8 charge, but no, his drugs, his combat drugs. Ability is what he does. Gets back up to full health, swings back around. Are any of these drones weakened is the question. Trying to focus that one. Can he chase it? No! He's made it into a baneling nest instead. But he is still alive. Reaper Gonzalez is actually pretty darn fast here. And again, he does recognize there is no expansion up for Railgun yet. He's going to check again just to make entirely sure. And there's not. So Railgun 2 base in this thing. Not entirely sure what that's all about. Lings against Hellions. Hellions are going to win that battle, especially if the Lings are slow. Look at these dudes. Sorry, Zerglings, you got roasted to pieces. And still no third base. Out of our Zerg player, Reaper Gonzalez really wants to stay alive here. He's doing a great job. Be controlled by Youth Thermal. Picking off and neat. Oh, speed things are out. Never mind. You're toast, Reapy. One kill and boosh. Gone. Totally gone. But Hellions, two Hellions here already. Two more coming to join them in the middle of the map, and then they will go. Then they will work together to roast up the Zerg. Two queens here at the front. Got speedlings here as well. Is that Baneling? In the yes, he did finish that Baneling nest, so he's going to use Banelings. Or he could just not use Banelings. I don't know why he'd make a Baneling nest in that case, though. Hellions coming right along behind this middle line at the natural pace. Get out of there. Get out of there, say the queens. One drone does get roasted alive. His body is getting run roughshod over by his friends. They just, they just know how to work, man. There's no time to mourn. When you're a Zerg player and a Raven on the way from Euthermal as well. Ah. Alright. I do like how much we're seeing Ravens lately. I do. It makes me happy to see this much of the Raven unit in StarCraft 2. Picking up a Creep Tumor are the Hellions. Another Creep Tumor probably. Yep, another one. Did it get cancelled? No, Railgun not cancelling his Creep Tumors. He has to replant them over and over, which is terrible. Do not chase them off the Creep. They'll come in behind you and murder you. Okay, they're not. They're not going to chase them too far, which is exactly what I want. 
this far is maybe okay. This creep won't spread much further this way towards them. Yeah, get uh, you guys get back on the creep. Either way, we're looking at two base versus two base, which Railgun, he needs to do something real, real fast here. He is getting drop lords. He's sending drop lords with Banelings out. So Baneling rain on the way. Some more drop lord action with three Banelings. Oh, nope, it's four Banelings this time. He's going for Baneling rain against Euthermal, and I don't think anything's scouting this out. The Hellions coming back in. There are a lot of Speedlings, though, picking them against the wall, and four of them getting killed immediately. Two do manage to escape the Sting, but they die pretty quickly as well to the Zerglings that follow. And here we go. Lings running across the map. Banelings going to be inside of these Overlords, and what can they do? Oh, there's a Raven. The Raven does see it. The Raven does see this coming and says, eh, what do we do? Drop in. Oh, these are Queens. The Queens get dropped first of all, and then Lings coming at the front door. Second over, where's the overlord full of banelings? Wasn't there an overlord? There's an overlord full of banelings here, and he's gonna drop them on the SCVs. Oh, the SCVs are dying so fast! Oh no, 19 SCVs killed. Queens going to town against the three marines that are remaining here. Queens taking down the Viking, trying to do stuff. Lings and banelings just wrecking everything here at the front door of Euthermal. This might be it. For our Terran player, what a ridiculous two-base attack here out of Railgun. There are four queens here. They are enough to get rid of this Banshee, depending on how fast the Banshee is. Banelings trying to get into this natural mineral line, but no, Banshee already has five, six kills now. They do not get much of anything of a hit. Queens transfusing each other links on top of all of the production facilities of our Terran player. Widow Mine does pop out and gets killed, and that's it. A good game from Euthermal. Euthermal is defeated, and Railgun is victorious oh what an incredibly interesting little build there out of railgun gotta gotta make some notes on that so basically two based it got lings got bane lings got drop lords two drop lords one for queens one for banes fly them into the main base drop the queens use the bane lings to take care of any scvs that are there and then use lings to break down the front door and yeah i mean look at this euthermal uh, lost 24 scvs and he is tied with Railgun right now. That's how much that Euthermal was macroing up and how many workers Railgun sacrificed to make this thing happen. So don't go anywhere. This is going to be a sneaky twofer with Railgun coming up with game number two in just a second. Welcome back, StarCraft fans, to our sneaky twofer featuring Railgun. This is going to be a game between Railgun and Gusty on Honor Grounds, the latter edition. In the top left side of the map, we have the Red Zerg player. It is Railgun. And in the bottom right side of the map, we have the Blue Terran player, also an EU GM player. It is Gusty, representing the Doe. The Doe. <laughs> does sound like a Homer thing, doesn't it, from The Simpsons? Doe. The Doe. Or the D-O-H, if it's an acronym, which seems entirely possible. Honor Grounds, man. This map is a big map with a lot of places to expand. I mean, it's what? A jillion bases. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, plus 9. I mean, it's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20 22, 23, 24, like basically 25. We're going to say 25 bases, 26 if you want to make it an even number instead, but that's a lot of bases to take. We have seen some incredible, incredible macro style games here from players from all walks of life on Honor Grounds, the Lunar, Lunar Edition. Honor Grounds, the Lunar Edition? Honor Grounds, the Ladder edition been casting a little bit too long a little bit too long here but we will get through this just you and just me barracks coming up from augusti has his refinery rocking already hatch first from a railgun and yes hatch first into extractor into a pool and you're gonna do that on a four player map it's just really hard for the terran player to really mess with you too much when it's a four player situation so here comes our barracks and here comes a reaper he's making a reaper reaper's name is johnny Johnny is the most ruthless and the most cruel Reaper mercenary in all of Dominion space. He is known to take his wounded victims to his lair where he tortures them for information. But if they are Zerg, he just does it to listen to their screams. Whoa! This dude injures people on the battlefield, picks them up, brings them back to his lair, and tortures them so he can hear them scream. That dude... But this is a bad dude. All right, Johnny, I'm not rooting for you. I am not rooting for you to do anything in this game. So here he goes. Factory on the way from Gusty. Railgun making them four lings and those two queens. As you want to do against Terran. This makes a lot of sense to have those units out. Four lings and two queens. This is pretty much the minimum that you want. If you want to make more lings, you can. But you don't need them to survive if your control is anywhere near adequate. 
All right, Johnny, tapping the zone like a watchtower's kabam. Kabam. He might actually... Yeah, he might get there. He might get up to the top left. A little bit sooner than I expected. The Lings are moving out for Railgun, which means home is a little bit undefended. His queens are popping, though, so not entirely undefended here. Taps the zone like a watchtower. Does Johnny... What are you... Are you just... What? Why are you not looking for the Zerg player? He's just... Is he just rallied to each... He's not rallied either. He's just going to each of the Zelnaga Watchtowers on this map. All four of them. Tapping them. And then calling it good. That doesn't tell you where anybody is. He's checking the top right. Looking for a hatchery there. Nope, there's not. Do you know where there is one though? Johnny in the top left. Where ya just were ya crazy person? I don't know what that's all about. Ling's coming to the bottom right. Final is showing up. <laughs> Slowlings are slow. Getting inside. But two Hellions pop out just in the nick of time. To save all of these SCVs. They might get one SCV kill. And they do know the repair is too good. Nicely done by Gusty. No SCVs die. Not today. Starport on top of a tech lab. Oh, interesting. Going to start Banshee production. Entirely possible. Out of Gusty here. Going Hellions with the harassment. Johnny. Johnny got killed by a million queens. Should we watch him die? Let's watch him die. Where are you, Johnny? He found the... Okay, so yes, he while this was happening, Johnny comes up and does find the top left base of Railgun again. He was here about a minute ago. Chose not to scout entirely, which is very odd, but at the same time, he knows the Zerg's not in the top right, I guess. So one queen hitting. Coming down to the natural base is Johnny. Two queens stabbing away. Oh, that's just a lot. KD-8 charge does explode, but that's it. That is it. So Reaper dead, fourlings dead. I would say the Reaper got a nice scout off, which is good. But otherwise, just not the most efficient Reaper of all time, which is fine because it's Johnny, man. Who, doesn't, who likes that guy? Not me. Cloak Banshee, even on the way from Gusty. Continuing that Hellion production. Ooh, this is a lot of Hellions. Is he? He's going into Marine production after this. He's almost like he's mecking, which would be good. I do like a mech in a ZVT. We just don't see it enough, honestly, at the GM level or the professional level. It's not as strong as it used to be. At the same time, when it was strong... ZVTs turned into like eight hour long slugfests with a million swarm hosts. <laughs> and there were some really, really long matches uh, during those Heart of the Swarm days that caused Blizzard to kind of shut that down. So, swarm host not as good, mech not as good either. And games are a little bit less than three hours for the most part. So, here come our Hellions, and Railgun's going to try to defend this entirely with eight Zerglings and four Queens and a couple Spine Crawlers in nice places. I don't know about this, man. I really don't. Spore Crawler up as well. He is worried about Banshees. Oh, he's Ling dropping. Ling dropping here in the natural base. Flying into the main base. Trying to go after these SCBs. Doing pretty good at it. But at the same time, these Hellions are having a field day. With all of these drones. SCVs forced to fight for their lives. Marines helping as well. Finally, all the SCVs do get cleaned up. But that is a eight dead SCVs there. The Hellions rolling back around to the natural base. They're very low on HP, but they have some more devs to dish out. And wow. Wow, that is 12 drones killed there. 37 to 28 harvesters. Railgun is still up, which is nice. Which is nice, but yeah, it just hurts. It hurts to lose that many drones. Although his first and his second bases are still saturated. He was droning hard, you guys. Really hard. Hydralisk then on the way from the railgun. Still not going for a third base, which I find surprising. It's definitely surprising. He's going for round two of Ling Drop action. The Marines, there are five Marines down here. I just don't know if that's enough. Uh, can the Lings get loaded in? Okay, if all these Lings make it over, that's good. But only eight at a time can get inside. So it does have to leave two of them behind. Ten lings just feels like a lot better. Oh, this is a lot of marines, actually. Never mind. There's 11 marines <laughs> on the ground in the natural base. I don't think this overlord is even actually going to land. The marines are waiting. The marines are like, hey, why don't you come over here? There's nothing to worry about here. Double cloak banshee going after everything here at the natural base. But spore crawler and queen, good combination against that particular attack situation. Lings do manage to drop in here and pick off an SCV, going after some of these Marines, trying to thin their numbers, but instead, one Marine dies, all the Lings die, and the Overlord gets picked off as well. Yes, Marines with Stim. Oh, they don't, wait, they don't have Stim? Oh, they do have Stim. Oh, not enough energy for Stim? Not enough health for Stim? Something was happening there. One of these dudes could not Stim. And it has to be this one, right? That's the one that I, no, yes. There he is. That one guy can't stim. So they do have stim, but you have to have enough energy to pull it off. And that one does not, as it turns out. Medivacs will come heal him up, though, very nicely so he can. And here comes our drop. A little bit late 
later than usual, but again, two port Banshee and a bunch of Hellions kind of slowed this thing down. So the Banshees here at the third base, which Railgun is tossing down at the traditional third base location, trying to kill this hatchery are these dudes, and you know, they might, uh, they might could, but these queens are coming. There's a spore crawler on the ground as well. There's an overseer following them, so Cloak is essentially useless at this point in time. The Banshees decide it is better to run. It is better to run than to, to, at, to attack into that situation. Queens are just such good anti-air. They're just really good. Picking off a creep. Could they get that creep tumor? They could get that creep tumor, but flying into a spore crawler, never a good idea. Where are you going? Why are you dying? Oh, the Hydras. The Hydras. Goodbye, Banshees. Come on. And a drop with a lot of Marines here in the natural base. And getting the heck on out of there. Picking everybody up. No man gets left behind. Not in Gusty's army. And the Hydras are out. So we do have our Hydras with 90 HP. Plus one ground carapace is done. Plus one attack on the way. And plus two ground carapace. Very close to finishing as well. Going with a lot of Hydras. Here is Railgun against a very bio-heavy composition from Gusty, which we've seen this tried before at the master level. I just don't know if it's going to be enough at the GM level. Man, those hiders are really good, though. They are, aren't they? They're pretty fantastic. Trying to drop in the natural base as Gusty decides maybe not the best idea at all. Just coming back up along this left side. It's either that or going to the Hydras, which seems like also a poor choice. They're a little stuck, are these medevac pilots. Uh, where are we supposed to go, sir? Say the medevac pilots, and they're like, well, you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. Got a spore collar and a queen on the top, and a bunch of hydras on the bottom, so make a choice and go with it. Bunch of marines coming up. They do have plus one attack and combat shield upgraded. Trying to pick off those medevacs with the hydras, but no, the marines come to chase them away. Medevacs do actually get out. Surprisingly, Gusty gets out of that situation, but lings and hydras chasing down the remainder of these marines. Everybody gets together. Says, all right, we got this thing. No, oh, lost a couple of medevacs, though. Oh, medevac control has to be so good when your opponent has this many hydrolisks. Not something they're used to doing. I don't think Terrans are when there are this many hydras on the ground. Is uh, medevac control. So two Marines do get left behind. Unfortunately, Gusty's policy of no man gets left behind was um, broken in that situation, which is bad news. But third hatch, third hatch, third command center is done for Gusty, upgrading it to an orbital command. And Lurker Den coming in for the railgun. He's trying to make Hydra Lurker work. Against a Terran player, and I'm not, just not entirely convinced this is what you want to do here. So tank there from Augusti. We got a lot of Marines on the ground as well. 15 of them. 15 of them. Upgrades aren't that fantastic, but that's again because he had those Banshees at the beginning. He had those Hellions at the beginning. That slows all this stuff down. So Hydroling moving down across the map. Plus two armor, plus one missile attack done. Plus two missile attack coming up in just a minute or two, which is an eternity in StarCraft. Marine scouts everything out, gets murdered for his trouble, and he, I just don't know. Marine tank against this many Hydras and Lings. Ooh, two tanks, page full, page worth of Marines, Ooh, page and then some of Marines. We've got 30, 40 Marines, two tanks, a Marauder, and four Medivacs. Medivac production could improve. He is double pumping them, so... Can't argue too much about that one. Marine trying to scout up and just gets murdered here. Railgun, I think, has map control at this point. He could probably expand a couple times if he wanted to. I don't know that Gusty wants to move out anytime soon. Going for some Hydra drop action, which we've seen in ZVTs out of Railgun before. And some Lurker drops, too. Might try to drop inside this natural base. Trying to actually make Gusty freak out a little bit with his Drop Lord flying into the natural base and flying into the main. But Gusty doesn't see it <laughs> as a result. Nobody moves. Nobody's freaked out at all. So good scout there, recognizing that natural base is a little bit open. You guys could probably have a nice opening there. So Drop Lord does get destroyed by some Marines that pop out of their barracks before they join the rest of their buddies. Macroing pretty hard is Gusty right now. 50 Marines, 3 Marauders, 4 Tanks, and 6 Medivacs. Everybody stims and comes back in. They're worried about these drops here. And should... Oh, man. Look. No! No, 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 no. Drop Lord 1 dies. Drop Lord 2 dies. The other three are forced to retreat. How did he even see that? That was incredible. What a play by Gusty. Not allowing that drop to even come close to completing. Was dead impressive here. Those lurkers, I think. Oh, those are lurkers. In the weeds. In the weeds there. Marines come and try to deal with them. No, 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 no. You're not good. If you can't see him, you guys. Oh, that's a lot of dead Marines, you guys. Yeah, yes, both lurkers did get picked off. But still, you got to be careful. Got to be careful with your Marines against lurkers, as it turns out. Spreading some creep here at the front. 
is Mr. Railgun and kind of deciding to head on back home. So he's going to spread creep down here in Augusti's base. Make him remember the Zerg is still out there. Yeah, fourth base and fifth base here on the way from Railgun now. Double expanding as previously predicted. The plus one melee attack on the way from Railgun and taking down these rocks for a potential sixth base as well as Railgun. He really feels like he has the upper hand here. A fourth base on the way from Gusty, which is just fine. Got some Liberators on the ground. I mean, in the air for Gusty getting plus three. Uh, plus three biological attack. Ah, oh, these creep tumors all died. What a bummer. What a bummer for the Railgun. Going after this rock structure to take his own gold base on his corner of the map. Is Gusty similar idea to what we're seeing here from Railgun with his sixth base, but it would be the fifth base. For Railgun instead, bit of a drop over here from Gusty. Actually, a fairly large drop over here from Gusty. Somehow, this creep tumor lived. It was just outside the circumference of that scan. So, Gusty's waiting for this creep to recede. It's not going to recede. That's actually funny. Very funny. More creep tumors over here at another gold base on the left that Gusty could go after. There's the scan. There's the creep tumor death. And again, another creep tumor just outside of that circle does manage to survive. Which is actually pretty darn entertaining sixth base is coming up for the railgun we got there we go lings rolling into this marine tank composition nope lurkers going for it though lurkers trying to burrow in range but the scan is really good and the tanks are taking a lot of damage a drop here at the fourth base for railgun marines going after workers trying to run for their lives here gusty looking strong lurkers trying to save this sixth base fourth base is toast though Absolutely gone, but plus two, plus two hydras are no joke. Trying to pick off these medevacs. Oh, man, medevacs destroyed there. Not good news, but the sixth base ends up falling. Oh, no. Oh, no for Railgun. Gusty got his tanks there. Looking great. Plus two, plus one on these biological units. Hydras just walking into the tank fire. Trying to pick off what they can. The Lurker's getting focused down by Gusty, though, which means it's just Hydra in this situation. Trying to kill tanks, and look at these hydras go. They are dying quickly, but not as quickly as you would expect. Going after those medevacs. Again, killing medevacs. Such key, such a key strategy to killing Terran. Four medevacs are remaining. Six have been killed so far. Coming back in the remnants of that drop from Gusty at the fourth base. Checking to make sure the fourth base does not exist. It does not. Railgun has not replanted it yet. Flying into the main base. Possibly. Oh, this creep tumor died. The creep tumor down at the gold <laughs> base. Finally gets taken out. Marines dropping inside the main base of Railgun. He's trying to make enough Hydras to get rid of these dudes. Only has three. Two more. Three more pop out. That's much better as it turns out. Medevac dies and again that means the Marines are just much less effective. Excellent target firing from Railgun. Liberators coming to town setting up defender mode circles on Railgun's fifth base and these drones are going to die. Gotta pull them. Gotta pull them Railgun and they do. The high ground setting up with a tank. You want to come in here? We'll take you out with tank fire and liberator fire, and a couple of marauders get a little bit too full of themselves and try to take on a giant group of hydras and get chased away in the process. We're looking at four bases here for Gusty right now. Again, hasn't really expanded. Had a hard time with some creep previously to where he wanted to expand, so that is why you always throw down creep tumors, you guys. Burrowed Ling's also very good in these situations. Lurker's trying to do it. Lurker Hydra trying to make this thing work. It's a very Brood War style. Railgun is attempting here, back when Lurkers were much better against Marines than they are now, back when Hydras were even tankier than they are now. It was a viable strategy against Terran, but this is not a not as good, I'd say, not as good. Marines are a little bit tougher. Also, the Lurkers don't do extra damage versus them. Uh, they do extra versus armored, which pretty nice, but you just want to get rid of those giant clumps of Marines with splash damage. Giant clumps of Marauders can be very handy. If you want to take them down with Splash, but it's just a different a different situation. Resources lost at this point. 14,000, 15,000 lost for our Zerg player and about 12,000 lost for our Terran. Is taking that gold base for a fifth up here. Oh, trying to land it, but there's more creep spread. What? Railgun, you creep spreader. You're so mean sometimes. Marines, marauders flying on in to this fifth base of Railgun. Where is his army? What are they doing? I don't know, but this hatch is going to die. Look how fast it dies. Gone. Small group of hydras trying to deal with it. Marines marauders say, you know what? Nah. We're not going to engage. We just killed your base. Fourth base has been replanted by Railgun, so he's not completely toast at this point. Gusty's still trying to land at this gold base location. Can't do it. There's just creep everywhere all over that place. These guys fully upgraded. Nope. Railgun's happy with plus two, plus two. He's getting a hive here at 16 minutes. 
Possibly a drop attempt in the natural base. Maybe there are no medivacs over here, though. He's got units in position to do so. Killing that infestation pit and these evolution chambers would prove to be pretty fantastic. I really think it'd be good anyway. Plus two infantry armor coming up for the Gusty. Additional lurkers in production. Lurkers doing 36 damage versus armored and 24 versus non-armored. Which is not bad. Creep spread continuing. Railgun is in love with his creep spread. That's for sure. Lurker on the high ground. Trying to make sure these marines can't kill any creep tumors in the middle of the map. Here we go. Going for it. The hider is just trying to stand in against these marines. Against these marauders. Trying to pick off the medevacs. They're very low on HP anyway. They won't look at these hydras go. What a convincing win. They're out of railgun. Holy schenectedies, Batman. That was amazing. Great job. Great job indeed. Medivacs heading on down to the south. We got ourselves Marines, Marauders, Tanks. 18 kills on this tank. This little group here from Gusty's kind of been sitting here for a while. Maybe just more of a contain maneuver, but I don't know. It's 192 to 150 total supply. Gusty has a giant lead on his opponent. It is 56 to 60 Harvesters, but it's 4 base to 5 base. Gusty finally managed to land its orbital command at this gold location for his 5th. <laughs> Good job, dude. Now throw down all the mules you've been saving up. That is my recommendation. So I'm surprised these dudes have lasted this long. And I'm surprised Gusty hasn't sent some medevacs over to heal them up. Sending some liberators, which is nice. But big old group of plus three, plus two marines and marauders with two medevacs in the sky coming on in. This fifth base for Railgun is under direct assault right now. I don't think that he can save it. Liberators setting up shop every direction. Railgun could possibly try to go to save this thing is just completely covered. Walking into the lurkers is Gusty. I don't know about that. There are four lurkers here. He's trying to take them down, but again, the Hydra's alone. Pretty fantastic. This tank lurker is trying to sneak up and get rid of it. Oh, the abduct on the tank. The tank does not survive. It does not kill the hatchery as he wants to. Another abduct on those medevacs. Medevac getting picked out. Another abduct on a marauder. Abduct being used pretty much nonstop by Railgun, and he does manage to save that base. Liberator's coming in to get rid of these lurkers. Hydras can probably do it. They're trying to pick off the Marines outside the circles and then deal with the Liberators themselves. But nope, suddenly a big old group of Marines and Marauders and tanks. This is an incredibly intense situation for Railgun right now. We've got an Overlord pooping creep inside the natural base of Gusty, which is kind of funny. Was that was there a Nidus Worm or a drop of some kind here. I'm trying to decide what happened. Dang it, I missed it. I hate it when I miss stuff, you guys. Either way, uh, Gusty's kind of in a state of problems right now. Abducting the Liberators, picking them off. Circles are gone. Very low HP Marauders. Not as good as they think that they are. 19 kills on this tank. 18 kills on this tank as well. Marines coming up, killing, clearing these creep tumors out that Railgun's been planting pretty much the entire game throughout the middle. But now they are all gone. Is the problem here. I really don't know what Gusty is doing in his natural base. He's worried, I guess, about this contain, which just got broken. Everything blue is dead. Everybody, everybody's not dead is running, running hard from home right now. So fifth base did survive for Railgun. His fourth base is up and running. He could go. There's the six. I say it. He could take a six base now that he's broken it. And indeed, he does. Resources lost. 22,000 for the Zerg player and 18,000. Closer to 19. For our Terran, plus three, plus three on the way for them. Hydras and them lurkers taking this other gold base. Is Railgun out by the fourth and the fifth for a seventh, if at all possible? But guess what? Here comes Gusty getting rid of them Hydras very, very nicely. Couple lurkers on the ground. Four lurkers still here in this general area between the fourth and the fifth. Blinding Cloud, pretty good. Taking the tanks out of it at the very least. And a lot of these dudes are sitting Blinding Cloud, blanketing everything. But Gusty still generally winning that battle. If I had to guess what happened there. Marines, Marauders, Tank setting up outside this fifth base of the Railgun. And kills an Extractor. Trying to kill some of these drones in range, unfortunately, of a Lurker. So the tank ends up getting killed. It's harder to set siege without that tank. As it turns out, the natural base is back to what it used to be as this Drop Lord was shoot away. Have to assume another group of Marines and Marauders coming on down here. Not a lot of medevacs in the sky. As it turns out, there are six, but where are they is the question. Small group, again, trying to get the fifth base, can't do it. Too many lings, too many hydras picking off those medevacs, first of all, with their extra range. Is it a range of six? Yeah, a range of six is a good range. As it turns out, and Gusty forced to retreat. First to retreat on home. These medevacs might get picked off if they're not careful. They do have boosts, which helps them get away. 
actually going back in for the kill. Swinging around, recognizing the hiders are a little bit away from their base. Trying to come back down to this fourth and this fifth base area and get rid of it, but um, probably not going to happen. Probably not. Not going to happen here. Could it possibly abduct some of these medevacs into the hydras. Doing some consume action are these vipers, which again have been just godsend lifesavers for a railgun to this point. A sixth base. Is that a sixth? Yep. One, two, three, four. Fifth base at the gold. Sixth base over here to the left of the third. And we're looking at some pretty good macro. Here out of Gusty right about now. Got these medevacs, and there's the abdu Oh, he abducts his own overlord by accident. Oh, what a misclick. What a misclick from Railgun, unfortunately. <laughs> Using more consume on this fourth base to atone for that particular mistake. But Gusty just expanding, trying to take this gold base along the left side for yet more gold income. How many barracks do you think he has? Eight barracks. Eight barracks in production. He could probably use more... Uh, he's spending his money pretty well at this point. We're looking at about less than a thousand gas and about four hundred, or less than a thousand minerals and four hundred gas there. At this point in time, sitting around here on the left side, and then moving out is Gusty. He's got his liberators, got his marines and marauders coming into the sixth base of Railgun. This gold base under assault once again. I don't think anything can save it. Trying to drop over here at the fourth at the same time does not matter. It's shoved away, but the sixth base is gone. Nice pick up there by Gusty, flying into the natural base now. This is really where the Terran can shine with this mobility. And again, Marines Marauders trying to deal with this many Hydralisks. There are Liberators here getting both abducted, picked out of the sky. This army gets removed from the map by so many Hydralisks. Natural base gone, Infestation Pit gone, Evolution Chambers gone, Extractors gone as well. This natural base was like it wasn't even there, except for the Creep. I guess the Creep is indicating that there was a base there at some point in time. A bit of a Hydra drop here from the natural base. Actually, four Hydras here in the natural base of Gusty doing some damage as well. No, the Hive is gone, though. Oh, shoot. Hive gone. Most of the stuff dies from Gusty. But it actually hurts immensely in this situation. Seventh base. Host for Railgun. Marines and Marauders just everywhere right now. Hydras still trying to murder some stuff. Killing this natural base is nice. But Gusty feels like he's got it. But unfortunately, in a straight-up fight, Railgun super outnumbers him, and bam! 174 to 127 total supply. Railgun has a lot of Hydras, you guys. 54 Hydralisks, three Lurkers, and a Viper. Recognizing he just lost most everything that he had, he's going to counter. He's going to come right on in here and see what he can kill. What does Gusty have, you guys? He has a tank, 24 Marines, 9 Marauders, and 6 Liberators, which is good. But again, this is a lot of Hydralisks right now, abducting the tank in and murdering it. But Liberator Circles proving to be the problem here. Five, six Liberator Circles setting up shop, making the Terran a little bit harder. A little bit harder to destroy in these situations. Uh, Hydras sneaking down this left side to this planetary fortress at the gold base that Gusty has taken. That is his sixth base. And it dies to about a million Hydras in about three seconds. I mean, that was a lot of DPS. Plus three, plus three Hydras, no joke. So that base is gone. A lot of dead uh, workers there, too. 25 SCVs killed. 57 drones killed, though. Some high ground harassment on Gusty's fourth base. There's the Planetary Fortress here, but Lurkers outranging that Planetary Fortress and hitting that mineral line. So slowing down the income of Gusty quite a bit is Railgun to where Railgun's actually ahead. 1,700 to 1, 1,100, rather. 1,100 Planetary Fortress. Toast! Picking off bases. That's what he had to do, and that's what he managed to pull off. All right, so taking, retaking the seventh base gold is Railgun. Going after, oh, going after this fifth base gold that Gusty had as well. Gusty just doesn't have the ability to stay with these hiders as they walk around and murder his stuff, but there's a drop. There is a drop by Gusty here at the fifth base and is waltzing through, killing Creep Tumors, using that scan to the best of his ability, killing yet another hatchery. The third base is completely gone. The Hiders coming from the back side, trying to pick off these medevacs. Sport Crawlers trying to do the same thing. They get one. They get one of the medevacs. I think Gusty must know he can't really stand and fight here, so he's pushing. He goes. He does get the Lurker Den. Trying to kill these Overlords, standing and fighting, and that's it. This Terran army is going to die. The medevacs are gone. Hiders outnumber them 8-1, to one, it feels like, and there we go, but we're at 33 Harvesters for Railgun and 28 for Gusty at this point in time. Trying desperately to replant bases is Gusty. Liberators versus Lurkers. Pretty good fight, as it turns out, for the Liberators. You have to use scans uh, most of the time. Replanting his Hydralisk Den and his Infestation Pit is Railgun. He needs those Lurkers. He doesn't feel like he can do it. 
with just straight up Hydra, or at least he needs Vipers, is what he needs here. So coming back around, coming back down to Gusty's place, plus three, plus three, is done for our Railgun player. And replanting his gold is Gussie, just flying an orbital command over. And here it is. Done. Lurkers on the high ground trying to shut down Gusty's base here at the fifth as well. It's at the fourth. My numbering with the Terran is not as good. Hydra's walking in. Oh, that gold base is going to fall again. Oh, some. Oh no, coming in as well. The Liberators getting picked off. It's going to be a big time battle here. Three Liberators lost their lives. Hydra standing in against a huge Marine Marauder ball group here. Is it enough Hydra's to do this thing? Maybe. Maybe it is. Trying to kill the tank there. Can't quite get it. Got it down all the way to seven hit points. But the tank's a big deal, and Railgun decides to back on out. 100 to 66 total supply. The income is not healthy right now for Gusty. 300 minerals per minute compared to almost 2,000 for the Railgun. He just has enough bases up. He's essentially on three base. With his 36 harvesters, Gusty's on 14 SCVs on one mining base. Yeah, not great. He's mined out pretty much everything else that he had. He needs that gold base income. So he's going to try to fly his orbital command over again. Take this gold. Got two liberators, got two tanks, got marauders, got marines. But Railgun, does he have enough to kill this thing is the question. Coming around from this left side, tanks. Catching his hydros on fire and making him rethink his life decision there. Yeah, the tanks are pretty much keeping Gusty alive right now. With their plus one attack, which is good. 44 damage total versus the Hydras. It does take several shots to kill them, though, with their 90 hit points and the plus three ground carapace that they have. Retaking his sixth pace at his gold is Railgun. Hey and more tank Marauder Marine production. I, I mean, it's 110 to 73 total supply. The tanks are, again, what's keeping Gusty alive right now, and he continues to increase that tank count number. He's got his gold base back. He's throwing down mules. It is hard to kill a Terran by killing his economy. He can recover from things very, uh, very quickly indeed. Hydra's coming down, making sure their gold base is secured. Oh, there's a drop. There's a drop at his seventh, but enough Hydra's actually to shove that away. I'm liking this. I like this from Gusty a lot. He's not just sitting at home. He's not just playing defense. He's sending out... Little parties, little attack parties, trying to kill what he can. Uh, Railgun just defending a little bit too well. His new center location here is at his fourth base at the top of the map. He has his hive, he has an infestation pit, and a lurker den here as well. Ten lings in production for a Railgun, getting three Vipers. Vipers, super integral to winning this thing. If he can blinding cloud these tanks, I'm pretty sure the Hydras can handle everything else that is in this army. But the Vipers are not here yet, and they don't haven't or consumed enough yet to have enough energy to throw down a few... Uh, blinding clouds or just abducts abducts would probably be fine as well staying out of those circles again circles of tanks circles of <laughs> liberators you don't want to go in there as it turns out trying to sneak around this left side can they squeeze through nope there's a tank there is a tank there as it turns out 152 to one no just kidding to 86 total supply gusty is down macroing really hard as the railgun marines and marauders here at the seventh base of railgun picking off so many drones and then picking up and getting out there Getting the heck on out. Unfortunately, Gusty's still at 14 Harvesters to 44 for the Zerg player. Marines and Marauders coming in to this 5th base of Railgun. Trying to possibly get the 6th base. Just kind of dancing around. Trying to bait the Hydras into the Liberator uh, tank situation. They get a couple shots off there, but not many of the Hydras end up falling. As it turns on out, we got Marines, we got Marauders taking down more drones here at the 7th base. And this gold base of Railgun, and again, the Medivac's able to get out of there before they die. Before they die, which is a pretty big, pretty big deal. Still, 45 to 14 Harvesters. I just don't see how Gusty comes back from this thing. Vipers are here. There's the Abduct on the Liberators. They get picked off and murdered. Now we got three tanks on the ground and a handful of bio. And I think this might be it. The Vipers are sucking down some additional consume. The Hydra count is currently sitting at 41 Compared to 24 Marines and 13 Marauders with three tanks and three Medivacs. Oh, yeah, he is getting those. Yeah, still has those tanks, rather. Still has them. One kill, zero kill, two kills. Not exactly battle-tested tanks, but still they'll get the job done. And here he comes with the concave and the blinding cloud being thrown down on everything. This might be all she wrote for Gusty. The abduct on the tanks. Probably entirely unnecessary. Chasing on in. The medevacs getting abducted. Marines and Marauders trying to stand in. And that's it. A good game out of Gusty. And Gusty is defeated. While Railgun is victorious. Whew. What an ridiculously incredible GM ZVD game there. Railgun making what? Hydra, Viper, Lurker work. 
that's it. Didn't really make banelings, didn't really make a whole ton of lings or roaches or altars or anything. It was just Hydra Viper Lurker. That was the key, I think. Was that Blinding Cloud was the abduct ability. Again, killing 24 medevacs is a big deal if you're trying to be a Terran player. If you're trying, that is what you want to do. Resources lost actually turned out to be fairly even here. What is that? That's 45, uh, 48,000 lost for the Zerg compared to 42,000 lost for the Terran. So more cost efficient, but just better macro out of the Zerg player there. 145 Hydras got killed. 358 Marines died. Woo! That's a lot of Marine. 108 Marauders, 13 Tanks, 12 Liberators, and 26 Lurkers lost their lives in this game. So well done by Gusty, but Railgun is your victor in both games of this sneaky twofer, and that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.